So to start off with today's Zodiac collection from ColourPop and Kathleen's collaboration, I'm going to start off with the Zodiac eyeshadow palette. Here it is. It does have that same finish, that matte finish. It's really cute though. It has like the gold prints of the different Zodiacs, some on the front and then some on the back. And it's always weird for me whenever they print or any palette prints the names on the back because I never know is it the way you see it or is it supposed to be like the exact sh like wherever it's placed but it's really cute I am a Taurus so I'm very happy to see that the Taurus is in the front so here it is it's very very cute I like it this palette does retail for $18 and you can find it on the ColourPop website and here is the inside eyeshadow palette does come with 12 different colored eyeshadows and each eyeshadow is named after one of the zodiac signs and unlike previous ColourPop eyeshadows the 12 pan ones that don't have a mirror this one actually does come with a really good size mirror and that's probably why it's $18 compared to $16 with the other eyeshadow palettes so I do already have my face makeup and brows done I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow palette so I'm gonna start off with my sign which is the Taurus and the Taurus is a matte, it looks like a perfect transition shade. I know like Taurus, the color is not very exciting, but it's one of those shadows that's very dependable and you need. And I truly feel like with us Taurus, I mean those who are Taurus, you can go ahead and feel free to comment below, but I feel like we are very dependable. So I totally understand why she chose this like matte transition brown because the palette wouldn't be as cohesive. So I'm going to go ahead and just use Pick Up Taurus with my Luxie 205 Tipper Blending and I'm just using that as my transition. Alright, next I'm going to pick up the Libra which is like this light, like lilac, pinkish purple shade and I'm going to also pick that up with the Luxie 205 Tempered and I just want to go ahead and build that transition. I'm thinking it's a matte, it looks like it has a sheen but let's see. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Sagittarius right here. This is the very deep, like magenta-y purple shade. And I'm picking that up with the Luxie 203 Small Taper Blending Brush. So those shadows blend out perfectly. I had no problems with any of the mattes so far that I've used. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Virgo, which is the deep matte brown shade in the palette, which I feel like is probably the best shade to deepen any look. And I'm just going to place on the outer corners, just deepening the outside. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Leo, which is like this bronzy gold shade in the palette and it's also shimmer I'm gonna pick it up with like a flat brush without anything just picking up dry I'm gonna go ahead and just try to see how it looks oh I'm curious if I would have laid down some like sticky like um, what is it like eye base or concealer first if it would have performed better but it looks actually fine let me go ahead and wet my brush just to see how it works all right so I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush with the Mac fix plus this is in the I think this is in the rose yeah the rose scent oops I just missed it and then I'm gonna go back and pick up the shade Leo that gold like bronzy shade oh yeah so it's even more intensified wet next I'm gonna pick up the gold shimmer shade called Gemini or the Gemini with that same flat brush and I'm gonna just go ahead and put that on my inner one-third of my lid and I'm gonna also use Max Fix Plus to intensify that for the lower lash line I'm gonna continue with the Libra Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the purple shimmer shade called the Scorpio right here. I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up with my Morphe M124 and I'm going to place that 
right on the outer one half. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Cancer or The Cancer. All right, and I'm just gonna place that on the inner one half. So far, I think that it's it's really up to par with all of the other ColourPop eyeshadows. I think that they're very easy to work with and they're very beginner friendly. All right, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my eyes and now come back to finish off the rest of the Zodiac collection. So next in the collection are these Supernova shadows and these are kind of like liquid eyeshadows that you put on your eyelid. These are actually the first ones that I've ever purchased from ColourPop. So I'm very curious on the formula and how fast, if it's transfer proof once I close my lid because I do have like hooded lids so once I open my eyes, my lid does touch the top of my lids and it does crease. So here, swatch our Astrology, which is this gold like metallic shade and then we have Constellation, which is like a champagne pinky shade right here. Go ahead and go into Astrology and I'm actually going to try my best to put on as little as possible and I'm just gonna put that right on top. Oh wow. So it doesn't look like it applied evenly, but it could also be because I had applied an eyeshadow underneath. Okay, there you go. Okay. So it actually looks okay. Okay, so I don't know why, but right there in the center, it doesn't look like it's blending out really good, but it's drying really fast. Yeah, it's drying super quick, so that's actually good. But the thing is, if it dries too quick, are we able to blend it out? Looks pretty. Ooh, I like that. All right, have to let it dry. Where's my fan? All right, so that was actually a really pretty color, Astrology, like that very bright gold shade. I really like it. I just don't know if the formula is my favorite because Upon application, it looks like it doesn't want to be moved around. Literally, wherever you spread it, it kind of wants just to stick. And if you try to move it around or move the product around, it doesn't look like it has an even distribution. It could be because I put down like a lot of mattes and that shimmer on top first. And then that's probably why it's not sticking. But I don't know unless I try it some more. So this is like, like a first impression. So well, let me go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. So this is not in the collection, but I'm going to go ahead and use my ColourPop powder bronzer in Afternoon Delight. Sticking to ColourPop products, this is a pressed powder blush and this is in the shade Parakeet. This one's like a very bright flamingo pink shadow. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use this my blush today. In the Zodiac collection, there are also these two Super Shock highlighters and this is in the shade Fire. This one looks a little bit uh, more bronzy and warm. And then we also have On The Cuss. And this one looks like, it's like that, also that champagne, like that champagne pink shade. And let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So you guys don't know the Super Shock formula. It's like a cream formula. It's very, very soft. So here are the swatches of the two highlighter. We have On The Cuss, which is that champagne rose shade. And then you can barely just see it. But here is fire. It barely just shows on my skin tone. But I feel like this would be much better. Like fire would be good for like, if you want that gold, kind of deep, more natural highlight. And then on the cusp is obviously for those who have lighter complexion. And if you want blinding highlight. Now, in the, from my experience with Super Shock Shadows or this formula, even highlighters, they do work well, they do work okay with brush as well, but I just feel like you tend to pick up too much. But I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to lightly pick it up. So this is on the cuffs, and this is that champagne rose color. And it looks like there's barely anything on my brush, but, so I, I don't know if it's just this brush, but it doesn't look that great with this specific brush. It's applying kind of splotchy. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it because it is a cream formula. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with my finger. Yeah, it's so much easier to apply with my fingers. Actually, it doesn't look as blinding as I thought it was. And then on my left cheek, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply fire just so that I can try both. Yeah, so this is definitely a much warmer color and I think this will suit those who have deeper complexion. It's similar, it's not as blinding as I thought. Like once you apply it, you definitely can see it, but once you start blending it out, it's not as intense, it really does sheer out. So I don't even know if you guys can see that. On the cuffs and fire. All right, then lastly in the collection, all right, then lastly in the Zodiac collection, we have these two luxe lipsticks and we have the shade Scorpion Moon and the shade What's Your Sign. I'm gonna go ahead and also swatch these for you. Right here, we have What's Your Sign. This one looks like a more nudie pink shade with some peach undertones. And then we have a Scorpio King, which looks more like a plummy. So first we have What's Your Sign, which is this is the more neutral, everyday kind of like brownie pinky nude and you have it there is what's your sign it definitely looks more like peachy than the lipstick the lipstick i feel like looks a little bit darker or deeper like it actually leans a little bit more brown to me on the actual lipstick but once applied it actually looks very kind of peachy Okay, next we have Scorpio Moon. This one's like that plummy, rosy shade. And here you have a Scorpio Moon. So if you haven't tried the Luxe Lipstick Formula, it's a very creamy, it glides on so easily. It does wipe away very easily as well, obviously, but they're super comfortable. I haven't tried the matte formula. I definitely want to try it. If you have tried it, comment below let me know in comparison, do you prefer the matte or the Luxe like, cream formula? So that's pretty much it for my first impressions. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. I will definitely do a follow-up video of my final thoughts on the entire collection. As you know, this is a first impressions. But do comment below and let me know, did you guys pick up anything from the collection? If you have not, will you be picking up anything? And if you have picked up the collection, what's your favorite product? But don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!